this is my review on 2017's Justice League that we didn't did that he gave Snack Chris like complete credit and didn't take any of his credit. Basically, you see all being credits of the movie. Unfortunately. So, this is just a dumb film. Feels like a throwback to the Silver Age of comics, of DC Comics. You know, when everything was just a bunch of product placements. <sighs> of anti products and not taking everything seriously. It, it can get a little repetitive after a while, you know. For two hours. After two, once two hours come, thank God it's only not longer than two hours. It, it'll get more repetitive. So, five out of ten this gets. Now I'm going to review Wonder Woman. 5 out of 10 is repetitive, stupid, unimaginative, a little bland and dull. It drags on before the action comes, which is right, be which is right before... What, what, uh, the action doesn't really start to get on to No Man's Land scene. When she has to cross No Man's Land, kicks ass as, uh, on No Man's Land, across No Man's Land. But until that, that happens, the whole thing just drags on, like falls to the wall slow. So we just want to see, okay, end, end already. But then it starts. So, 5 out of 10, Wonder Woman gets. From 2017, Wonder Woman signed Gal Gadot. Now, I'm going to review Green Lantern from two satellites starring Ryan Reynolds as Green Lantern. Hell joins Green Lantern. And oh my god, this is a 5 out of 10 also. It's mediocre at best. Mixed bag of proportions of how I feel about this movie. Towards this movie about Green Lantern. And the executions of the ideas that he had going for this movie and did. Like the CGI Green Lantern. This is a mixed bag to how I feel about this thing. While well, the design, I'd rather be a regular actual suit. Damn it. Because the CGI was definitely not ready for the, the time, I felt like. For 2011, it just wasn't ready for the time. It could have worked, maybe, but it, had to, it has to be more advanced than what, what it got. It's, it's more advanced than what it is today, I think. That they're using comic book films, you know? With the CGI Green Lantern suit. But it's still a lot better than what we see in CGI comic book films now these days. For the CGI. We're going to film from two selling versus the films later. For DC and coming from Marvel now. These days from 2023. Then the 2020s era. Of the making films. So. So. I mean Green Lantern. Also, just in family safe, pushing Hal Jordan to the side and focusing more on the villain and then turning the villain into another fucking space cloud. <sighs> Hal Jordan defeats him, then ends up on cliffhanger as the next world becomes a villain and joins the Yellow Lantern in court and becomes a villain and a traitor of the Green Lantern, saving for a sequel. That would never come, probably, most likely, <laughs> at this rate. So, solid 5 out of 10.